Hey guys, here's a video of the yellow bike that I posted in Mini Bike Nation this morning. It did 56.9 miles an hour. Um, stock internal, um, everything stock besides the governor removal, um, ported head, um, and some shims underneath the stock valve springs. Um, stage one kit is a um, carb adapter, filter, a jetted main pilot, and a homemade pipe with an ROV muffler, and a gear change. Now, this is what I want to talk about: is your gear and your tire height. Um, I, I'll go, I'll go, um, into depth about the engine build, but this is the most important for your top end that most people are trying to reach. Most guys are like, okay, let me let me get like 50, 60 miles an hour out of this engine, but I have the stock gear, which is like twelve seventy or twelve seventy five, and they're throwing wheelies everywhere, and they're like, I can't hit over like thirty miles an hour. Well, that's your gear. So let me just show you this. Most people are so confused about the gears, they literally don't know where to start. They're just like chasing their tails. So this is an end all for your problem. Okay, so before I show you that, if I were to show you this bike, right? This bike has a, let me get this off, sorry. This bike has a billet split sprocket adapter with a smaller rear sprocket. This bike has a 70 tooth in the rear, which is bigger than that. So you, not knowing anything, you look at it, you're like, hey, this bike would pull more top end than that, right? Because the rear is smaller. Wrong. It's a different gear ratio. You have clutch size, and then you have, shit, and then you have rear sprocket size. Now, this is what I want to show you. This is your gear chart. On the red bike that you thought would make more top end, I have a 1253 gear. Which is 442 ratio, right? 442 ratio. Now keep in mind, the lower the ratio, the more top end. The higher the ratio, the more torque. And most people talk about, oh, throw taller gear, shorter gear. You don't know what the fuck you're talking about because it doesn't make sense. Figure out the gear ratio because this is logical that you can talk about. Most people are like, oh, throw a higher gear or shorter gear. In cars and mini bikes, a taller gear and a shorter gear is just different. People get confused like this. So just to make it easier for both, go off a gear chart and a gear ratio. It doesn't matter what gear you have on. The final gear ratio is the final gear ratio, okay? So the red bike. 1253, you think it'll make more top end because it has a bigger, it has a smaller sprocket than, than the yellow one, right? Wrong. I have a 17 tooth on the front on a yellow bike combined with a 70 in the rear. So 1770 is a 412 ratio. That's less than the 442, not by a lot, by a little bit, but it will make more top end. That's still a ratio. It's it's your final drive ratio. It's can't change that. Um, combined with 14 and a half inch tires, that's what got me to 56 miles an hour. Um, and then the second second part of this is is your build. Now that we're over the gear ratio and your tire height. Oh, tire height. I recommend 14 and a half or 15. Um, 13. You're going to have to, if you were to run a shorter tire, you're going to have to gear the bike for more top end than if you were with a taller tire. So the gear I gave you right now, like a 412 or 442, that'll put you in the 50 to like 55 miles an hour guaranteed with a stage one kit, if that's what you're looking for. So um, and that's straight bolt on, take the governor out, and that's it. Um, if you want the extra three, four miles an hour, five miles an hour, because of stage one with the 1253, we'll do about 50-51. With the gear change that I did on that, because you can't do 412 with the gear on this, you will need to go up the up the clutch since the smallest they make in the rear is a 53. So you can't go any any smaller in the rear unless you get those really really small like 40 or 50 tooth straight bolt ons which are not split sprockets, um and that's a different story. Um, but it it it's, keep in mind you need to shoot after one specific gear ratio. It doesn't matter what's in the front or what's in the rear. Shoot after one specific gear ratio. Okay, now for the yellow bike. It's a Frankenstein build. So I took a Hemi bottom end, which has, now we're talking stock form. This is not billet parts. Everything is stock here. This is what what will give you the most power out of stock parts without spending money. This is a Hemi bottom end. The reason I use the Hemi bottom end is for the flat top piston, the increased compression a little bit. Hemi head. I mean, non-Hemi head. So it's a Hemi bottom end with a non-Hemi head. Non-Hemi head, the new gen. Anything from RTC 6, 8, uh, 11, or 14, Anything from RTC 6 and up is good. because Why? Because they come with the 5mm stem valves and 
um, the, 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 what's it called? Retainers and keepers are just automotive style. So they're way better. They have split retain, uh, split keepers, which is what you get with, with those like 36 pound springs and all those like aluminum retainers and stuff. So this is the good kind of retainers and they come stock with these engines. The Hemi has, has those really weak ones that use the, um, they use the lash cap. And those are so, so terrible. You can easily, easily, um, like the spring could easily fall out or whatever. With with the non-hemi, it's just a lot more stable, better. I've tried 9600 with that head on a 308 cam with 26 pound springs. Um, that's the biggest spring I, I could put in there. Um, and it will wreck in 9600. I had it on three different builds. Those are drag builds. Um, and it's proven on three different tacks. So I know that works. Um, the reason I use a non-hemi head again is it'll flow and it won't flow. It'll, it'll, um, it, it'll rev more, but it, it'll flow a little bit less than the hemi. Why? The valves are, are straight. So it, it'll, it'll flow a little bit less, but it makes for it kind of top end. If that makes sense. It'll, it'll rev more since it's easier to control the valve assembly. That's just the idea I'm trying to get across. So I'm trying to get the most, the best out of everything for this top end build. This is more for top end. Now this Hemi will do about 52 miles an hour. Um, it's a ported head, stock internals, everything. Um, to get them to rev a little bit higher, you have to shim the springs or upgrade the valve springs. Um, I use the stock springs. I don't like using upgraded valve springs on stock cams. Why? I don't want to wear out the lobes on the cam because you can you can wear out the lobes and, and have them go flat if, if you're running really high spring pressure. Um, so I use the stock springs and I buy spring shims from Barry Young to go under the, the valve springs and it'll give you more tension on the spring. It'll, it'll, um, it'll, so basically you put shim under the spring and it'll raise the, the spring. So it'll get the spring closer. It's just putting more tension on the spring. So it'll rev maybe a hundred, 200 more RPMs. Now the Hemi head will flow more, um, ported. Um, if, if por both heads were ported by the same builder, um, the Hemi head will flow 15% more than a non Hemi head just because of the angled angled valve, uh, valve the valve angle um, but they do have a, a valve to piston clearance issues if you were to run like high duration high lift cams um, on stock forms a non hemi bottom end is better in my opinion just because the cam is a little bit better I'm going to show you the cams compare this lobe this is a, this is a non hemi compared to a hemi the lobes are a lot bigger um, here's the the piston, this piston, and then this is the Hemi piston. This is why I run the Hemi bottom end because it has a flat top. It's a little bit more compression. Dish pistons are good too. Why is the dish piston good? As this goes up to top dead center, all your, all your, your your um, your mixture is in the middle of the piston, and as it pushes it down, it puts the good load on the piston. And um, most people are like, oh, let me run a dome piston to increase compression. No, dumbass. I mean, it does increase, it increase compression, but all your gases are just, because it's a dome, all your gases are going like this, if that makes sense. Like, it's pushing out, it's going past the rings. That's with a dome. A dome is like this. The dish is like that. Like this. This is the dish, which is kind of like inverted in it. And it puts better load on a piston. So don't think dish pistons are bad. So if you were if you were at, at Harbor Freight, you're like, well, which engine should I get? Get the non-Hemi. Um, even in stock stages, is, uh, stage one in stock form, I got beat by non-Hemi all the way up to top end. The only reason I caught him top end was because I had the ported head and the, the, the shim springs. Other than that, he had me from start almost to finish. I only pulled on him by like one bike and I was almost up top. Almost where, where his bike revved out. So, non-hemi heads um, combined with a hemi head, that's a killer combo just because of the increased compression. But if you don't have access to a hemi bottom end, full hemi engine is the way to go. Um, <clears throat> if you were building them, you can do all kinds of shit. You can run the fucking... Um, I, I like... If you were to do a drag build with billet parts, staying away from the subject, and I'm getting off the subject... Um, like bullet, bullet parts and stuff. I take the Hemi bottom end with the RTC head and it runs 71 miles an hour in the eighth on pump gas, stock board, stock stroke. Um, 24 millimeter carb, 308 cam, 26 pound springs, Hemi bottom end. Um, I think it was a plus 20, a plus 20 billet rod. 
um, ported head, 24 millimeter carb, adapter for the Mikuni carb, um, and it was a, a three stage pipe from NR Racing, um, 1470 gear, 13 inch tire, um, and it was like 93 octane. The head was milled maybe 40 thousandths, and I used an MLS uh, 27 thousandths head gasket, and it ran 71 miles an hour with uh, 14, 1470 gear, 13 inch tire, and I'm 150 pound rider. So this is a combo for you guys that are looking out, looking trying to get the info. Um, because most people don't want to give this info out. They're like, they're just a bit greedy. I was a little bit greedy. Um, about like six seven months ago, I didn't want to give this information out because I was like, well, I'm racing against guys, and now that guys in my neighborhood are trying to go fast, I just find it way more fun for them to keep up with me. Because I had one of my friends stay all the way in the back of the pack. I'm like, this is not even fun for him. Like, why would I make him feel bad? Let me just try to help him out. So this is the combo. If you guys want to go fast, I'm more than happy to help. I don't mind giving away the information because who cares if I have the fastest bike? You're all the way in another state. This page has like 24, 25,000 people. So I could care less by showing this information. Um, and if you do want more information, comment down this, on this video. And if I did miss anything, let me know. I'll answer it. See ya.